What's going on everybody, Wayne's Workshop here, and in this week's video I'm going to show you how we vacuumed the visor on the Shrike Anna mask and also the tracer goggles that we did. Now we never vacuumed before, so mistakes were bound to be made, so uh, let's just jump right into it and I'll show you how we went about doing all the vacuumforming. So at first I had the genius idea to print my uh, vacuform box, which was a horrible idea. It's much faster and much cheaper to make it out of MDF board like I did the top here. In the end it worked out fine, but you know, I'll probably make another one just completely out of MDF board. It's just better. Once I had this whole thing made, I grabbed some aluminum panels and I made a frame to hold on to the PETG panels with some clamps. For the tracer goggles, I used one millimeter thick PETG. Next, I prepped the 3D printed visor by sanding it smooth and filling the bottom up with clay so it had a nice sturdy base and was facing the right way. This is called a buck and that's where the PETG panel will go on and then we vacuum form it. I stuck the frame with the panel in the oven at 250 degrees Celsius and once the plastic had sagged enough I took it out and carefully placed it over the buck while Angela turned on the vacuum cleaner that's connected to the box in the bottom. This will create a vacuum shaping the hot plastic into the form it's placed over. Once the visor was cut out we dyed it in orange and then glued it into the frame. More on the dyeing later. Now for the Shrike Anna visor, the frame didn't hold as we used 2mm thick PETG for it. This visor is larger so it stretches more, hence the extra thickness used. I took the dimensions of my oven and made a frame twice, so I could stick a sheet of PETG inside and hold it together with some nuts and bolts. Then we repeat the process of the oven, but I made the mistake that now with the MDF frame, my box wouldn't create a vacuum because it could still suck in air from the sides. Bad call for me, but foam to the rescue. I cut some strips and then glued them to the sides. I redid the whole process and this one worked out much better. There was a little fold on the side there, but it was fine for now as this was a con crunch time, so time was limited. I proceeded to cut out the shape with my Dremel and then made a large pot of water to dye it in. Water should not be boiling when tinting PETG because it reacts to heat, so keep it at around 60 degrees Celsius. I used a mix of iodide polys black and blue to create a dark bluish tone. I left it in there for about 15 minutes and then took it out and dunked it in cold water immediately. If you want it darker, then just leave it in longer. If you want it lighter, then leave it in shorter and keep checking it. Then it was just a simple step of gluing this sucker in put behind it the LED effect and now I have a nice Shrike Anna helmet which I can still see through. I don't know if you see my face but I can still see fine without banging my head on every wall at a con. So yeah some mistakes were made but that's what this hobby is also about. You learn new things, you just go ahead and do them and you know you fail a few times but in the end it all works out. I hope this was useful to anybody who is just getting into vacuum forming it's not all that hard if I would recommend not printing the vacuum form box and just making it out of MDF board you can let your hardware store even saw the MDF board up to size so you don't have an, even have to do any uh, uh, cutting at home you can just let them do it over there and you just screw it in together at home and then you already have your vacuum form box I hope you learned a thing or two again drop your questions down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video